Welcome back. We'll get to Garth in just a second. Fire and emergency say this week's fatal Auckland electric bus blaze began in a petrol car and spread to the bus. The company which makes the bus's batteries says they were undamaged in the fire, though Tamaki Drive was kept closed out of an abundance of caution. This morning we're looking at whether we should be a little worried about lithium batteries, especially if they're in buses. Adnan Alan Bookie is with us this morning, an electric, electronic engineering professor from AUT. Adnan, nice to have you on the programme. Good morning. Morning. Morning, Ryan. Good, good, to, uh, good to be here. Great to have you. Um, tell me, now look, yesterday we don't know the extent to which or even if the battery started burning. Certainly it didn't cause the fire, we know that um, for certain. That started in the petrol car. But are there any risks, because people saw the flames and, and kind of freaked out, are there any greater risks from battery, lithium-ion batteries in public transport, for example? Well, um, uh, Ryan, we have heard a lot about uh, lithium battery and their problems, uh, whether uh, what is happening in uh, the cell phones or whether what is happening in the data center in uh, Korea or whether this, this, this incident in here. Uh, the problem with lithium battery, they can get excited by either you know, heat. I mean, some batteries, 60 degree is enough to get them excited. Uh, depends on the manufacturing. It might be uh, 150 degree, up to 150 degree. But once they get excited, that's it. They are out of control. And they start, you know, just uh, raising the temperature, uh, creating some uh, gases and all that, and uh, getting the explosion. And they melt themselves, and then the barriers among the chemicals also get mixed up. So would a bus that's got a battery in it be more, potentially more dangerous than a com normal combustion engine bus? Uh, if, yeah, well, I mean, uh, the the... Excitation get the place either from a temperature or from a damage or from overcharging. So all all these could 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 excite the uh, the battery. So uh, this is this is what's happening. Of course, I mean, it's, it's still a new technology and it's on the market and it's not like the petrol engine, you know, where uh, we've been living with it for quite a, a while. Uh, so it's uh, how much protection have we got around this aspect? Well, uh, well, you're the expert. You tell me. Do we need more? Do you think? It's it's uh, it, it's a matter it's a matter of cost. You know, I mean, uh, if if you try to increase the protection, it might be the expense may be too high. And of course, I mean, there are other technologies like the fuel cell. Uh, it's it's been tested in the market. Uh, I remember uh, since late 90s, early 2000. But I think the petrol companies have put it aside. Uh, when they're going to kick it off, I'm I'm, I'm not sure. But it is, uh, I guess, much more safer than the batteries anyway. Uh, appreciate your analysis this morning. Thank you very much for being with me on the program. That's Adnan Alan Bookie, electronic engineering professor at AUT. It is nine minutes away from eight, and it is time to talk business with our partners.